Please subscribe to Shotoku Tech so little Jimmy can have legs, won't you? Thank you very much. Welcome back. So I just did this video about my Raspberry Pi 4 running LibreELEC and Kodi Media Center. And I asked the question, can I install a Bluetooth keyboard? And I just answered my own question because as I was stumbling around through the settings, I could see how easy it was. So I'm going to demonstrate just how easy it is to add your Bluetooth keyboard to your Kodi Media Center. Here we go. Okay, so we have the usual suspects here, the Raspberry Pi 4B in the Media Center case, Media Center, infrared controller, the AGP Tech HDMI recorder so I can show you what's on the screen easily. We're going to use this Bluetooth, it's called Jellycomb, found it on Amazon. Basically you just switch it on, hold down the Bluetooth button to put it in connect mode. I'm going to go ahead and do that now before we even power on the Pi. I don't think it's that necessary, but we're not going to leave anything to chance. So then we power on the Pi. Going to fire up the AGP Tech HDMI recorder as soon as I see something on the screen. There we go. Okay, so we're booting up LibreOLAC and Kodi. Here we go. Now I'll be using the infrared remote to maneuver the menu to get the Bluetooth keyboard connected going to need one means of control to add the other. So I'm going into LibreOLAC under system and then I'm going into Bluetooth and because I already had the keyboard in connect mode we're able to see it here on this list. Basically all I have to do is click on it, pair, and there we go. Got this trackpad here. Found out you needed to use backspace for the back key. Of course enter is enter. There might be a couple of subtle differences between the keyboard and the IR remote. I think I had some problem getting out of something, but I managed to figure it out, and I can't remember if that was a different key or not. Obviously, you got the arrow keys at the bottom of this particular unit for directional control. So we're going to try controlling all of this with the keyboard. First of all, you can see there's the mouse cursor scrolling around. And this is where I discovered I had to use backspace to go back because there isn't anything to click on to go back. There we go, we're going back now. So we're going to make our way down to YouTube. I want to search out that cool Star Hopper video. And as you can see, this is a nice keyboard, big enough, small enough, easy enough to type in whatever my search phrase is. So I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, and this was a real hoot, wasn't it? Okay, so I'm going to play around some more with this infrared remote control and this Bluetooth keyboard on my Raspberry Pi 4B running LibreOLAC Kodi Media Center. Thanks again.